adorable, especially if we stand there and we, we go at each other. I just feel like I just got the better fundamentals. I feel like in boxing-wise, I'm like, I'm Tim Duncan in boxing. <laughs> like, I got all the fundamentals, you know, the jab, hook, whatever it is, blocking, whatever. I do everything right. And I just feel like I'm just going to be the better fighter overall. I mean, he has a lot of talent, you know, skills. You know, he can move. It's basically, if I related to basketball, it's like Tim Duncan versus Garnett. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So what you just heard was the voice of undefeated unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF welterweight world champion superstar Bassa, who is widely considered by many to be top two if not number one definitely top five pound for pound best fighters in the world and earl the truth spence jr earl spence jr is 28 wins no loss no draw 22 big wins by way of knockout 33 years of age five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch armage he did and compared what i've been saying go check my last few videos and go check, I did video some time ago when I compared Errol Spence to Tim Duncan and Terrence Crawford to Kevin Garnett. I actually did a live stream about it. And I had uh, one young lady say she was unsubscribing because I only made the comparison because Kevin Garnett is dark skin and Errol Spence is fair skin. Okay. Uh, which that wasn't the comparison I was getting at. I was talking about their skill set, their body uh, uh, types, and their approach to their respective sports. Okay, I just did a video not too long ago when I said that Errol Spence is Tim Duncan and Terrence Crawford is Kevin Garnett. And I expressed why. I broke down why. Errol Spence is going into a highly anticipated July 29th undefeated undisputed welterweight showdown with undefeated three division world champion who formerly was the undisputed junior welterweight now the reigning wbo welterweight who is widely considered to be the number one best pound for pound fight in the world in terence bud crawford is a superstar boxer with 39 wins no loss no draw 30 big wins by way of knockout okay um the similarities in their and their physical approach to their respective sports is very very similar to that of Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett. Okay. Uh, if you're not familiar with the NBA and you're not familiar with Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett. Okay. I'm going to show you their physiques. Okay. Kevin Garnett came into the, the, the sport of basketball with a very slender physique. Okay. Very wiry frame, uh, and explosive. OK, that's how Kevin Garnett came into the league. Very, very wiry frame. OK, uh, very slender build. Right. Uh, very similar to that of Terrence Crawford, who started his career at, you know, 130 pounds. Now, he was a champion at 135 pounds. He was a champion at 140 pounds and now he's a champion obviously at 147 pounds okay um but when you look at the games of tim duncan and kevin garnett it's very similar okay tim duncan is very fundamentally sound okay uh he is uh um you know a textbook okay he is not not very exciting okay but he's very physical and he gets the job done right where kevin garnett was more uh, 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 versatile, right? Shooting, he'll shoot a three every now and then. You know, uh, he, he, when he dunks, he's going to scream. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and his frame is, and his build is extremely different, right? So listen to, let's listen to Earl Spence once again. I just made this reference in the live stream and a few videos I did. And you can go check out my video I did where I said Errol Spence is Tim Duncan and Terrence Crawford is Kevin Garnett. But listen again. What right. okay, puts you over the top in this fight? Um, I feel like just, just, I feel like I'm the, I'm the stronger fighter. I feel like I'm more adorable, especially if we stand there and we, we go at each other. I just feel like 
I just got the better fundamentals. I feel like in boxing wise, I'm like, I'm Tim Duncan in boxing. <laughs> like I got all the fundamentals, you know, the jab, hook, whatever it is, blocking, whatever. I do everything right. And I just feel like I'm just gonna be the better fighter overall. I mean, he has a lot of talent, you know, skills. You know, he can move. It's basically, if I related to basketball, it's like Tim Duncan versus Garnett. So you see, he said it's like Tim Duncan versus Garnett. Again, right? This is what I've been saying. It's Tim Duncan versus Garnett. I said everybody wanted to see Tim Duncan against Kevin Garnett. And Tim Duncan historically got the best of Kevin Garnett, right? Uh, the numbers for Kevin Garnett was off the charts. The numbers for Tim Duncan was off the charts, right? But uh, um, when you look at it, Tim Duncan was the winner, right? He was more the winner. Uh, you know, he got the best of their head-to-head -head matchups. And if you look at Kevin Garnett, this is Kevin Garnett and his frame, right? Very wiry frame, seven feet tall, a uh, uh, very wiry frame, slender, slender build, right? Explosive, as you can see, he's yelling there. You know, you see when Terrence Crawford knocked out, uh, uh, well, got the knockout victory over Sean Porter, uh, he started stomping in the ring, right? He started stomping in the ring. Uh, when he knocked out um, uh, um, Derry Jean and when he knocked out Hank Lundy, he ran up on him. This what you was looking for? This what you was looking for? You know, you, you remember that historic moment when Kevin Garnett, was like, uh, 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 anything is possible. You know, he's a yeller. He's a talker. You know, he was a trash talker. Uh, he trash talked, you know, uh, uh, historically, we know the moment he trash talked Carmelo Anthony, uh, and he even, you know, crossed the line when he talked about Carmelo Anthony's wife, right? He's just a more verbal in the ring, more, more, you know, uh, uh, showman, right? With Tim Duncan here, as you see, uh, Tim Duncan is more, of a, uh, uh, he has a more solid build. He's six foot eleven, right? Seven feet tall, two hundred and sixty pounds. Shoot off the backboard. You see Tim Duncan there, right? They both wore number twenty one, right? Uh, you see Tim Duncan with in their, in their prime. Kevin Garnett with the Minnesota Timberwolves wore number twenty one. Tim Duncan would shoot off the backboard. Nothing, nothing special. No, no flash, no flair. Just hard hat, lunch pail get the job done. Right. And, um, you know, uh, that's the, 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 the similarity. So you see, I've been saying for forever and a day that this is Tim Duncan versus Kevin Garnett. Right. Uh, they both played the same position. They both were power forwards. Right. Uh, um, you know, and they both was winners. Now, again, Tim Duncan got the best of Kevin Garnett, uh, throughout their career. Right. Kevin Garnett, he won, uh, one championship, Tim Duncan, I believe won five, right? Um, you know, so Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan just historically got the best of them, but stat wise, okay. When you looked at the stats, the stats was very, very similar. Okay. The stats was extremely similar, right? Tim Duncan stats to Kevin Garnett stats. Kevin Garnett is going to have, you know, uh, but Kevin Garnett is going to do it in a more flashy manner, Right. Kevin Garnett going to have 30 points, 15 rebounds, four blocks, two steals. Tim Duncan going to have 30 points, 17 rebounds, two blocks, and one steal, right? Um, but Tim Duncan is going to get the dub in that win column, right? Where Kevin Garnett team, he didn't have the team around him uh, that 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 uh, um, Tim Duncan had. You know, Tim Duncan had a better coach than Greg Popovich. He had better supporting cash, uh, uh, players around him, you know. So when Kevin Garnett finally got, you know, the, the supporting cast around him, right, Kevin Garnett became a winner, right? But you see the similarities here when I show you them together, right? You see the physical size difference. Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett was seven feet tall. Uh, he weighed about 230 pounds, right? I, I talked about this in the last video, right? Tim Duncan was seven feet tall, 260 pounds. So you see the difference. You see the similarities where Errol Spence is, you know, uh, um, uh, a natural welterweight who started his career at 154 and made a career out of fighting at 147. 
and er and Terrence Crawford started his career at 130 and made his way to 147. Uh, that was Kevin Garnett, who started his career as a point guard, as a shooting guard, uh, then transitioned eventually to a center, a power forward, where Tim Duncan started his career as a big man, right? So uh, th th there's a lot of similarities, right? Tim Duncan, again, when you looked at the stat sheet, they had similar stat sheets, but Kevin Garnett had the 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 flashy dunk, screaming, two hands, you know, uh, uh, the three point shot, the spin around, turn around, fall to the to the floor, get an M one. Tim Duncan just got a tip back, a shot, you know, shoot fifteen feet, twenty feet from the basket off the backboard, uh, makes you know twelve out of thirteen free throws. You know, uh, uh, you know, got some tip back, some alley oops. Kevin Garnett getting alley oops. You know, he's screaming, bang, the flashy points. It's, that's the difference. Uh, Errol Spence is a more fundamentally sound approach type of fighter. Terrence Crawford is a more flashy type of fighter, right? Errol Spence, like I said, when I broke down the defense, when Sean Porter said Errol Spence has better defense. Well, Terrence Crawford takes more chances. Errol Spence is going to be fundamentally disciplined. That's where the difference lies. So Errol, Errol Spence, I'm more fundamentally sound and better, bet, do everything better than he does. And I'm going to be a level above him July 29th. So I can't wait to see how it plays out and unfolds. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.